Now let's look at a situation where we're going to add a new clinic. As given in the original description, assume that the HMO has 10 doctors. Suppose that a fourth clinic, clinic D, with the average weekly patient loads shown in the table, is added to the HMO. The administration hires two new doctors for clinic D. Use Hamilton's method to determine if the new state's paradox occurs when the doctors are reapportioned. We're going to begin by finding the total number of patients that we're looking at in our average weekly patient load. So we'll find the total of 119 plus 165 plus 216 plus 110. And that's going to give us a total of 610. We now need to go to finding our standard divisor for this value. We're going to take our total of 610. We're going to divide by the number of items to be apportioned, that would be 12 doctors, and we're going to come up with our value of 50.83. Now, let's go to the following table, and we're going to fill it in using Hamilton's method. Again, we have our total of 610. We are going to take our populations, and in each case, we're going to divide by the standard divisor. And remember, that was 50.83. So we'll take 119 and divide by 50.83, and that value is 2.34. For clinic B, we come up with 3.25. For clinic C, the value is 4.25. And for clinic D, the value is 2.16. We're now going to truncate and take only the whole number values of this calculation. That's going to give us 2. 3, 4, 2. Let's add those together. We have 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 2 is 11. However, remember that we have 12 doctors that we want to come up with, so we're going to have to add one. We determine where to add that one more doctor by looking at the decimal portions. That's 0 0.34, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and 0.16. The greatest decimal part is for clinic A. So we're going to add one more doctor for clinic A, giving us 3, 3, 4, 2. Now, let's look at the new state's paradox. That says the addition of a new group changes the apportionments of other groups. Well, before we had that clinic D, we had clinics A, B, and C. Our apportionment was 3, 3, 4. Notice that that has been maintained even though we now have the two other doctors in our new clinic. So the new state's paradox is not going to occur.